Hi, my name is Roshni Serper and welcome to my term project. Using Python, I was able to create a program that would replace your mouse with your eyes. Using eye tracking and OpenCV, I was able to correlate motions like a right wink with a right click. And I was also able to gauge where you were looking at your screen and move your mouse to where you want to with your eyes. This program would be especially helpful to those who can't use a mouse or trackpad, like people with motor control issues or severe arthritis. I could tell you more, but why don't I show you? So the first feature is calibration. So as soon as you open up the project, there are two trackbar windows. The left is the calibration for the pupils, and on the right is the calibration for the eyes. And you can move the trackbars to set different HSV values in order to get pupils versus eyes. And as you can see, in order to ensure correct calibration, you can wink, you can close one eye, close both eyes, and make sure that your calibration is correct. Um, and the things that are calibrated are the eye, the pupil, the center of the eye, and the center of the pupil. And calibration is really important because it makes the project more accessible to anyone who wants to use it. Because now the program is going to be specifically tailored to your lighting situation, your eye shape, and other things like that. And you can toggle between the key D in order to take away the calibration, so like I just did, and it just makes it more um, efficient to use other programs. So here's an example of how I use my eyes to control mouse movement. So I just click key number three in order to go to up and down mode. And as you can see, when I look up, the computer is detecting that I look up and my mouse is at the center of the screen and moving accordingly. And a way to switch between the up and down mode and left and right are to close your eyes for two seconds. And as you can see, I've been able to switch through the modes. Alternatively, another way to switch the modes is to click the 1, 2, and 3 keys, especially the 2 and 3 keys for the mouse moving. So as you can see, I can take my mouse with my eyes to the instructions bar, and from there I'm able to do different key clicks in order to turn things on and off. So here is an example of moving horizontally, moving left and right, and it's being detected too. So here is an example of a game that tests how many times you can click in the matter of 10 seconds. So I'm going to try and do this with my eyes. As you can see in my terminal, it's detecting my right and left clicks. And my first attempt is three clicks per second. Now this is my second attempt, so I'm going to try and beat three clicks per second. And as you can see, you can both use left clicks and right clicks. Ah, uh, darn. Another three. Let's try again. This is with attempt number three. Boom, we did it. We passed three. <laughs> so a more practical application would be something like scrolling through your music. So to scroll, you just hold one eye down for four to seven seconds, and as you can see, I've been able to scroll down, and then you hold the other eye in order to scroll up like this. In addition to scrolling through music, another element of Spotify that you can use with this program is clicking on songs. Lastly, if you want to turn the program off, all you have to do is close your eyes between 7 and 10 seconds and it'll disengage automatically and turn all of the modes off. So all in all, I had a really fun time working on this project. I was able to implement lots of features like left and right clicking, looking in all four directions, left, right, up, down, up and down scrolling, and as well as calibration and having a UI that helps people calibrate and also figure out how to work this program with the timing and the eye movements. Um, so overall it was really fun and I'm glad that there's also an aspect of social good to this project because this could benefit people who are not able to use mouses or trackpads. So I look forward to working on this project after 112 as well. Thank you so much for watching.